A couple months ago, I had a project where I was melting some molten copper. As part of that project, I would use sodium silicate mixed with sand. As soon as it is exposed to CO2 gas, it instantly hardens the sand. I probably could have gotten away with buying some dry ice and using just a little bit, but I decided to buy a 25 pound CO2 tank, which I'm also going to use for some future projects. For the old project, I just had a barbed fitting, but I'm going to convert that over to an air compressor hose. Then I'm also going to modify a few beverage containers. I'll be putting in some valve stems that normally go into vehicle tires. This way I can pressurize them with CO2. Once I have the CO2 tank converted, all of the valve stems installed on the caps of the bottles, I decided to take some blue spray paint and cover up what they were and just make everything a pretty blue. While I wait for everything to dry, I'm going to head to the grocery store, pick up two different types of apples, oranges, applesauce, and some orange juice. When I get back to the shop, I start filling each of the containers. Start with orange juice, because that's going to be easiest, then switch over to applesauce. I wish I would have had something to funnel, such as a cup or an actual funnel, but I just spooned everything in and we'll deal with the mess towards the end. I'm also making notes on each of the containers, what I'm putting in there. After I get done with the applesauce, I switch to an orange. If there's any of them I think that are going to fail, it's going to be the orange. I think it's just going to mush the insides when I decompress them. Next is the apple. This is where I wish I would have brought the apple slicer from the house. Not only because it would have made cutting the apples so much quicker, but it would have made smaller, consistent slices, which would have made it easier to get it into the large containers with these small necks. The last fruit that I'm going to prepare is strawberries. Before I'm going to pressure test anything with CO2, I'm going to overpressurize it with air and see what my limits are. The NOS container starts to leak at about 80 psi and won't destruct itself. But this other container that has a slightly better seal will destruct at about 120 psi. This happens so fast that at 240 frames per second, the can is there one frame and gone the next. Now knowing what our limits are, we're going to pressurize these cans up to about 60 psi and hope nothing goes wrong. While I wait for the contents of the containers to absorb the CO2, I'm going to keep them in the refrigerator so none of the food spoils. Set the table at the shop for some fine dining experience, and then we're going to go to the fridge and break everything out. Okay, so I've been working on this project for a week or so now. This one is strawberry. I, uh, I feel this one's not going to do so well. <coughs> um, well, they're looking better than I was expecting. They smell horrible, but they were starting to be half rotten by the time I put them in here. That's interesting. I'll reseal that one for later. Let's try apples next. And it's at this point I'm severely regretting not using a larger container. I'm kind of disappointed. This orange juice. 
Granny Smith, and this one is Naval Oranges. I have a feeling this one's going to go bad. Definitely. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think this is what happens to a scuba diver when they get the bends. That does not taste like an orange. Um, applesauce, that one's going to be interesting. I think that's either going to be hugely successful or hugely a flop. Nowhere in between. <laughs> okay, was not expecting that. Don't really hear it doing anything. That is definitely carbonated apple juice or applesauce. It's fizzy on the tongue like carbonated soda has the texture of applesauce, but it doesn't really have the, the sweet taste of applesauce. It's a little sweet, but not much. That one's definitely interesting. These are straight carbonated soda, or carbonated water. Orange juice and one more type of apples. This one's Granny Smith. Very bubbly on the tongue. Doesn't really change the flavor much. Carbonation on the tongue, but Almost pulled away some of the flavor. The one I'm excited for is the orange juice, but I don't know. This one might go. I don't know. There was nothing. You know what? It has pulp in it, so it should be shaking. Doesn't really 
really change the flavor much, which kind of surprises me. This has been a rather interesting project. I think next I'm going to try to get my hands on some nitrous oxide, which I believe will absorb into different fats and oils in food. So stay tuned for that.